Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to render a sequence in Maya and then take it into Premiere Pro and turn it into a QuickTime file. So we've got a ball bounce sequence here, so I'll just play it. So you can see that running. And I need to render this. So there are a couple of things I need to check. I need to go to the render settings, which are here. And I click on those that button there. And at the moment, it's not set to render a sequence out. You can see the frame range is blanked out. So what we do is we go up to where it says uh, let's look. File output, frame animation extension, and we need to change this. And we go down to name underscore number plus extension. That one will work, but sometimes you get glitches when it goes into my into Premiere. So just pop it on that bottom one, and we'll be safe. The other thing I've done previously is uh, you may find it's on an IFF file, and if we put it onto JPEG, again you'll get an easier transition into Premiere. Pre Premiere doesn't recognise IFF, so it won't work. So JPEG there, name underscore number plus extension there, and then we can close that dialog. Just before I leave though, I just need to check. Uh, the render output is set to 640 by 480, and we need to be aware of this when we go into Premiere and turn it back into a QuickTime. So the next thing I'm going to do is just check the, the frame rate. So I'm going to go to Window, Settings and Preferences, and click through here. Then I'm going to go down to Settings, and we can see that we're running on 24 frames per second. So just so I know what we're running to, and then we can set that in Premiere. So just before I leave this, I'm just going to render the sequence. So I go to Render, Batch Render, and just click the message. And then down at the bottom, it's just having a, a little think. And then it's going to do a quick render. And you can see that's nearly done. And we're finished. So I'm just going to minimize. And then there's my, my project folder. And as you can see, it's just rendered out that sequence. So they're all a series of still images. And if I click on them and we look up in the preview, you can see all of those still images represent the animation like that. So now we need to stick them back together to turn them into a QuickTime movie. So to do that, I'm going to fire up Premiere Pro. So this is Premiere Pro 6, and it looks a tiny bit different to Premiere Pro 5, but we'll have a look at that in a moment. Now the first thing we need to do is, is set a project, so we go to New Project, and I'm just going to call it Dave BB for Ball Bounce, and then do OK. Now these are all set up to standard camera types, just to make life easy, and we need to go to Custom. So if I go to Settings here, and I change it from Editing Mode up there to custom and I set that to 24 frames a second and I just check down here we can see the frame size is wrong so we need to do 640 by 480 and you can see that it just needs to be updated so I just click in there so we can see that's all looking correct that's looking correct and we'll do OK and then this opens up. Now if you've used Premiere before and this looks a little bit unfamiliar all you do is go to Window and Workspace and you can set it back to a previous layout like CS5. Now if you want to use the current one which I'm going to do because we need to move forward I'm going to do Editing just here. And If it still looks weird for any reason perhaps somebody else has used it before you you can go to Workspace, Reset Current Workspace, Yes and everything will look as it should do. So we've got a preview window there, an output window there, a timeline that we can assemble our sequence there, and this is where we bring the files in. So what I would do is right click and I would do import. And I'm going to my desktop, this is on a Mac, but it's almost identical on a PC. So you go to where your files are stored, and here's my sequence of images. And what you do is you click on the first image, and then you go to tick this image sequence box. This is really important otherwise you'll just bring in one picture. So you can tick that and then you do import. And I'm aware of a little glitch that's going to come up. If I drag that and drop it into the sequence it's going to come up with an error. So I'll show you what happens. You can see um, we've got this mismatch warning. And what it is, is when, when Maya exports a sequence and Premiere imports it, it's interpreting it wrongly. So if I right click on my sequence here and we do sequence settings, um, you can see that that sets 24 frames per second and everything else is correct. So 
I'll just do cancel because we don't want to change. And if I right click and do properties, that's coming up as 25 frames per, se per second for no apparent reason, but we just need to override it, otherwise it will change the speed of your clip. So all we do is we right click and we go to modify, interpret footage, and then we change that to assume this frame rate and we reset it back to 24. And then we do OK. So now when we drag and drop it onto video track one, it comes in without a message. If you want to zoom into this for any reason, all you do is you press, look for your backspace button on your keyboard and press plus plus a couple of times. You can see your sequence in a bit more detail. And then you just press play and you can see your sequence in all its glory. So that's looking cool. Now the last thing to do is we just need to turn this into a, a quick time movie. So what we do is we go to file and we go to export and we go to media and if we look up here the preset is for 720p files so we just need to override that. So what we do is we go down to the video um, section here and then we look down for the video size and we just change that. So I'm going to untick the the lock button and I'm going to do 640 by 480 there and then everything else should be tickety boo 24 is correct, progressive is correct square pixels is correct all of these settings we'll learn about in more detail if you haven't learned them already um, and then the, the output name that's just where it's going to go so I can see on my computer it's going to go to my desktop but if you click in there you can override it and redirect it somewhere you'd prefer it to go so that's done now if you had several of these to do you can press Q and it'll enter a, a Q list which you can then start and you can let it run overnight but we're just going to do it straight off so all I do is I press export and that's just encoded it and if I just minimize Premiere there's my sequence movie here, so let's just hope it works. So I'm going to double click. Come on, wake up. There we go. Press play. And we can see our wonderful ball bounce in all its glory. There you go.